In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write killer newsletters with the help of AI. And this isn't just about throwing prompts at ChatGPT and hoping for the best. Now, your newsletters need to keep people excited, land more business opportunities, be easy to manage, and keep you fulfilled. Again, my name is Eddie. I've written over 300 plus blog posts, newsletters, and YouTube scripts. I've earned over six figures in revenue for my content business with the help of AI. I'm a nerd when it comes to AI prompts, tools, and step-by-step -step workflows, and that's my goal is to continue sharing that on this YouTube channel. Number one, we're going to be using deep research once we know our topic. Once we know our topic and once we've done our research, we're going to create our writing style and our brand voice to prime the AI. And then from here, we're going to start writing the rough draft using an AI tool. This could be Poppy AI, Claude, or your tool of choice. From here, once I've ran the rough draft, I like to do some professional editing with another tool called Edit GPT. They have an amazing free plan. And also, you can just use manual proof reading and editing. And then from there, I'm going to show you how I set up my broadcast or my email newsletter inside of kit. And you can also do this with Beehive. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into deep research. And this is our first phase. And the reason why I like doing deep research is because although AI is incredibly powerful, it's only as good as the information you feed it. And this is really, really important because we need to know and provide the most up to date and factual information to our audience. So step number one in this phase is you should already have your topic before you write the newsletter. But if not, we can prompt AI to help us think of ideas based on our niche, our past content and what our audience is looking for. And this does not mean that you shouldn't conduct your own research, but with the help of AI, why not use it? So inside of Gemini 2.5 flash, I'm on the free version here. I'm going to go ahead and use this prompt. I'm going to say, help me create 10 different topics for my newsletter for next week. It needs to be the most up-to-date info, which is again, today's May 31st, 2025. And you can add in way more context, but the, for the sake of this training, I'm going to say my niche is AI marketing. My angle is IT's creators, how to use AI prompts and workflows to grow their audience. Now it's researching all of these different websites, which is <laughs> insane. Okay. So we finally got something back. So once you've done that, you're going to want to create a document, whether it's in your project management system like Notion, Trello, or even a simple Google document, you're going to add in all of those key data points from your research that you've created. Then you're going to add in that unique angle and add any specific URLs or sources that you want to reference in that email. Now we're going to go into Poppy AI. I've talked about this tool many times on the channel, but essentially you can create any type of content, drag and drop documents, Facebook ads, social media content, it can scan and read all of the transcripts for any single video. You can add in voice notes, separate text, specific websites for it to scrape. You can add mind maps and there's just so much more that we can do with this. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a group and this group is going to be our research that we just conducted, which is all of this here. And I'm going to create a text file here and I'm just going to add in all of that research that we conducted for the topic that we're going to work on. And then next up, I'm also going to add in those websites that it created. So we can see that we have all of that in deep research and you can see here that Poppy AI can also scan all of the websites. So we just need to copy and paste that website URL. And I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of the other sections that we have. And I'm going to add in a voice note here that is going to talk about a few more things I want to make sure I include in my research that I found. Our topic is about hyper personalization at scale with AI. So I'm going to add in a few more things in here. Okay, so now you can see that it's generating the transcript based off of my audio. And I'm going to go in and make sure I insert that into this research group here. Now, if you have any other research that you want to add into this newsletter, go ahead and make sure you do that. We're just going to go ahead and use this for now. Okay, so our next step in this process after we've done research is we're going to go ahead and create our brand voice. And what makes Poppy AI amazing for this is that it's easily going to be able to understand our exact tone, writing style based off of content that we've already created. And this is what separates boring newsletters from the ones that people actually want to read. So we're going to gather three to five of our best examples, whether that's a blog post, YouTube transcripts, social media content, or emails where you felt like you sounded most like yourself. 
we're going to be using Poppy AI to help us create our brand voice and it's going to make it super easy. Once you have that brand voice, you have to test it and create samples before you actually start using it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab all my best performing videos. Poppy AI or any AI tool is going to be able to actually understand my exact writing style. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of this information in here. And then I'm going to go to my, one of my blog posts and I want to go ahead and copy one of those articles. So this one looks good. This is an informational post. So once we have my brand voice, I'm just going to test it. We're just going to go ahead and say, what is my exact writing style based off of my content? And then give me a sample blog post on a random topic using my brand voice. All right. So let's go ahead and see the example that I created for us. How to create viral LinkedIn posts using AI without sounding like a robot. That's pretty good. Now the intro is what's going on. I hope you're crushing it on LinkedIn this week. So here's your thing. I've been seeing way too many people posting AI generated content. That sounds like it was ran by a corporate chatbot having an existential crisis. So this is good. Okay. This is really, really good. This sounds exactly like something I would do. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that. I think this is going to work really well and we're going to connect this group into this chat as well. So our next step is going to write the rough draft with the help of AI. And this is where the magic really happens because there's a specific way we can prompt these tools. You've already seen how we've created the research. You've seen how we've added all of the information into the board. And this is where it gets really important. So we're going to be using and creating our rough draft again with Poppy. We've already given it our previous examples and we're going to have a simple newsletter structure. And I have an example for you on the bottom here that you can grab from the research sources. So I prompted AI to go ahead and write our newsletter topic. I'm going to go ahead and go full screen so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so this is not too bad. This is a pretty decent rough draft. We got our entire rough draft here for the AI hyper personalization, the 2025 marketing revolution that's already here. So the intro is pretty good. So that's really good. And then it's given us some stats here. The headers are really good. I love that it's given us line breaks. And then we got links worth our time. So it's going to give us a kind of link here based off of the research we've done and then give it an overview of that specific link and then people can go ahead and click it. This is good. We have a, like a nice little outro. It knows that I'm Eddie. And yeah, I mean, this is not too bad. I mean, you can continue adding more to this and I really like it. So our next step is going to be editing with GPT. And this is one of my favorite tools. Edit GPT is essentially a Grammarly on steroids and I've been using it for quite some time now. So I try not to get too overwhelmed on this. What I like to do is I copy my entire rough draft. This is just a rough draft, so you need to continue editing, adding more images, which we'll do in kit. But once I'm inside of edit GPT here, I'm going to go ahead and either paste in the entire text. You can also upload the document if you're using another tool. And I'm going to go ahead and click on paste here. And the first thing I like to do is either I click on proofread or improve the grammar. So we're just going to go ahead and proofread this entire thing. And it's going to highlight what we need to change if needed. So it seems like everything is pretty good. You can see here that it's proofreading this entire thing for us. Perfect. So there's only just a few things that we needed to change and that's it. I can go ahead and click accept all. Now, if there's anything that you want to change in relation to the actual writing, you can do that here. It's all up to you. You can also cut the fluff. You can also rewrite specific sections. You can also proofread only for fixing grammar. Now, and let's say you just want to completely change the clarity and the flow of your newsletter. You can click on improve. I sometimes like to use this one because it only makes a subtle changes and that I can go ahead and go deeper into that myself. All right. So nice. It didn't do too many changes, which is nice. I know that because this is going based off of my brand voice. And from here, you can continue making more edits. That's completely fine and up to you. You can, you know, remove all these M dashes if needed. And now that we've done all that, our next step is going to be adding this into your email marketing system. And I'm using kit. You can use Beehive, Active Campaign. So this is going to be very straightforward, but we're just going to go into kit and we're going to create a new broadcast, which is how I send out my newsletters. You're going to then copy your edited newsletter from Edit GPT and paste that into Kit's email editor. And then from there, we're gonna to wanna to format our email by adding more images, adding other important details. And let's say you have like sponsors, you wanna add all of those things in there. Okay, so I'm inside of my newsletter platform kit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of the templates I always use, which is this one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it as a starting point. 
Now, once you've done that, you can change whatever you need to change, but I'm gonna go into that newsletter and I'm gonna copy everything here. So you can see that Kit formats it automatically for us and I'm not gonna be doing too much here. I'm gonna just show you some of the features. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little plus button here and I'm gonna go ahead and add an image. What I like about Kit is that you can actually drag and drop images pretty easily. You can use some of the stock images. You can also import images from your Instagram. And then we also have GIFs here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on a random one like this one here. And you can see that's already nicely formatted. So this looks great. And you're gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the sections. You can also add in like buttons if needed. You know, you can do that here. You can add in videos. And realistically, you're just gonna go ahead and make it look really nice. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and send out that email. So here's like a good example of a email that I've already created. You can see that I have my headline. I have the intro, images, GIFs. You know, everything is nicely formatted. I'm breaking things up into sections. I also kind of have a place where I show my new YouTube. And you're just gonna wanna continue doing specific formatting. Once you're happy with it, you can actually go ahead and send out the broadcast. And now you have a really good system for all of your newsletters. And that is how you create newsletters with the help of AI. And if you wanna use Poppy yourself, I do have a coupon code. I am an affiliate for them. But at the end of the day, you can use any tool you want. If you want to use Poppy, the coupon code is Eddie, and I'm going to leave all the resources in the bottom of this video. If you love these type of videos, then you're going to want to watch this video next, where it's going to teach you how to write better content with the help of AI in any platform. I'll see you in that next video.